हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू अरिहंस पढ़ाकू दिस इज़ कोमल पोटलिया आई एम एन इंग्लिश टीचर विद ओइस गुड़गांव सो एग्ज़ाम सीजन इज़ गोइंग ऑन एंड आई होप एवरी वन इज़ वेल प्रिपेयर एंड ऑल द एग्ज़ाम्स आर गोइंग रोली वेल सो आई एम ह्योर टूडे टू गिव अ लिटल एनालिसिस ऑफ द इंग्लिश पेपर द टेंथ क्लास हैड टूडे सो देर मस्ट बी अ लॉट ऑफ डाउट्स एंड क्वेश्चन सो आई एम ह्योर टू डिस्कस ऑल दैट so the first question is did the questions from the novel section were similar to last 2 3 years questions or they were different there was a little similarity in a few questions the language was twisted a bit but there was still a little similarity in the questions but all the questions were not all the options were not exactly same but a little similarity okay so the next one is did the questions asked in the writing skills were similar to past year's questions or they asked some new topics the question paper pattern in the writing skills was exactly the same with matching the last year's papers but the topics asked and the questions asked were not the same the topics were completely different whether it was the article the letter or the short story the topics were completely different but the pattern was exactly the same okay the next one is how similar was it with the last year's paper the similarity between current year's papers and the last year's paper was that the pattern only the pattern was similar the questions asked whether it was reading or writing grammar or the literature part were completely different the questions were not even uh, similar in the topics the language was different the questions were completely different only the pattern was same okay the next one how much marks can be expected from an average student well again that depends on the student how well prepared a student is how well he manages his time while attending the paper or uh, you know how good a person is in english but if given uh, for an average student if a student is well prepared this was quite a scoring exam exam paper it wasn't very difficult but it wasn't very easy either an average student can score anywhere between 70 to 75 marks okay the next one is did the internal choices given in the paper follow the same pattern as in cbse sample paper or there were some changes the internal choices given in the paper were not very different the pattern of the paper was similar to the pattern given in the cbse sample papers okay Uh, which section was easy reading writing grammar or literature for this i would say that this also depends on the interest level of a student whether they are good in writing skills or their grammar is good but in general if you ask me then the reading part level was a little difficult the language wasn't very simple it was on a little difficult level so the reading part was uh, we can say that it wasn't very easy was the paper lengthy with respect to the time limit of 3 hours that depends on the time management skills of a student the paper wasn't very lengthy it could have very well uh, been uh, completed within the time limit given of 3 hours it could have been managed very well what was the difficulty level of the question paper the difficulty level of the question paper was uh, average it wasn't very easy but it wasn't very difficult either it was quite average uh, a well prepared student student could have easily attempted all the question within the time limit given and could score good marks were the questions repeated from last year's papers no the questions were not repeated at all uh, only one question that was the novel part a question was but still that was also uh, the language was twisted it wasn't repeated but it was kind of a similar question which section out of reading writing grammar and literature was time consuming i think the reading part was quite time consuming since the language was a little on the higher level so it could have taken time for the students to answer those questions to read the uh, passage properly and answer the questions did cbse bring any change in the paper which was completely uh, unexpected there were no unexpected changes in the uh, question paper the only change was in question number 9 of the literature part where Uh, in the previous years we did not yes used to get the the choice in questions but this time there were five questions given and uh, the students only had to answer four questions 
did the questions from the literature section were similar to last two three years questions or they were different no there was no repetition in the questions in the literature part the questions were totally different the targeted lessons were completely different so there were no repetition in the literature part okay we have the question paper with me and like if we see the writing skills part question number three the topic is evils of child labor. It is a very common topic. Anybody could have written very easily, very well prepared a student could have been about this topic. This is a topic which is very well discussed and very scoring. At the same time, question number four in writing skills. There were two options given in the short story. The first one, the dance audition began. I think this topic was a little difficult. It is difficult to build a good story with this outline we have we have and the second one it was raining have heavily we were traveling in a car this is a very good topic to build a good story you could have written a horror story a funny story you could have given a very good twist to this story so this one would have been a better attempt according to what a student writes okay like another question we can discuss is the section c literature part question number 11 bring out the importance of the diary in any's life this is a very commonly asked question this question has been asked in the previous year papers also so this could have been a very well prepared answer any student could have easily answered this this question because it is a very common question and everybody notices that while preparing for the english paper so this could have been a very scoring question for each and every student Okay, that's it. These were the questions we had. I hope I answered all your questions, all your doubts. And I hope everyone scores really well and all the best for your results. Thank you.